Good day, grade 10s. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at how to use our Venn diagrams. And the best way to do this is to look at an example. So let me get my pen out. And it says, in a survey, there are 70 people in total were questioned about whether they drank tea, coffee, or both. The report stated that 25 people drank tea, 35 people drank coffee, and 15 people drank neither. Now it says use a Venn diagram to work out what we have. So the first thing that I'm going to draw is my universal set. So my universal set is over here. That's my universal set. I have a circle for the tea drinkers and I have a circle for the coffee drinkers. Now out of my universal set, which is made out of 70 people, so our total sample set we know is 70 people, right? We know that 15 people don't drink either tea or coffee, so I can put them out here. They are out here. So we know that the number of people that drink tea is 25, and the number of people that drink coffee is 35. Okay, so since 15 people drink our, don't drink either tea or coffee, we can say that the union of this, this plus this, has to equal 55. Okay, but we're going to let this little bit here be x. Okay, because we want to know how many people drink both tea and coffee. So what do we know? We were told that this, the whole of this, all together, added together, has to be 55. So that is 55. But the number of people left over, the number of people that drink tea are 25, and the number of people that drink coffee are 35. Right. So therefore, this bit here, in other words, this bit here, okay, is going to be 25 minus x. And let me choose another color. I'm being a bit pedantic about this, but that's fine. This bit here is 35 minus x. And if we add that together, 25 minus x plus x plus 35 minus x, that all has to equal to 55, 55. So obviously these x's cancel, and we now have 25 plus 35, which is 60, minus x equals 55 and therefore we can see that x is equal to 5. That means that 5 people drink both tea and coffee, which means that how many people drink only tea? It's 25 minus our 5, so that's 20 people drink only tea and how many people drink only coffee is 35 minus x, so that's going to be 30. And this is how you use Venn diagrams to help you solve. And again, as always, you need to realize what you need to be let equal to x. So grade 10s, please go practice these using of usage of the Venn diagrams. It's very important. And this is the type of question you'll get at the exams at the end of the year. Have a great day.